Okay, this is section 1.1 .1 from chapter 1, and uh, we're going over statistics here, and descriptive statistics, the definition of that is describing your sample b data by making tables, graphs, calculating sample means, median modes, proportions, and all that sort of thing. It's anything that you do with your sample data, whereas inferential statistics is using your sample data to make inferences about your population. Now, I have two different words here. Descriptive statistics is, is about your sample using data from your sample, and inferences is using data from your sample to make predictions about your populations. So a sample mean, a sample average, is a descriptive statistic, whereas if you have the mean for the entire population, that would be a inferential statistic. So um, Let's go over some of these a little bit. First of all, a sample is a subset of your population, and a population is just a set of things that you're studying. Okay, so if you're interested in the average age of dentists in Maryland, then your population is dentists in Maryland. And your sample, well, maybe you sampled 30 dentists in Maryland, so your sample would be 30. Um, a statistic is any information such as means, proportions, or standard deviation that comes from your sample, like the average age of dentists from those 30 people, 30 dentists that you sampled, well, that would be a statistic. A parameter is any information such as means, proportions, or standard deviations that you would like to know about your entire population. Here's some symbols. We'll get into some examples here in a second. But first of all, some symbols. The symbol for sample mean is x bar. The symbol for sample proportion is p hat. The symbol for sample standard deviation is s. The symbol for sample variance is s squared. And sample median is x tilde with a little like wave over top of it. Now, population parameters usually are labeled with Greek symbols. So the population mean is labeled with this letter u, which is really the Greek symbol mu, 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 but it looks like a u. The population proportion is labeled with a, actually it's a rho, but we'll just call it p. It's the Greek letter rho, but it's actually a p. The population standard deviation is labeled with a sigma. That's a, this is a lowercase sigma. Okay, sigma. And the population variance is labeled sigma squared. Okay, just like the sample variance is labeled s squared because the standard deviation is s. Turns out that you can calculate the variance by squaring your standard deviation, and that's why they're labeled with a square on it, and where there's no symbol for the population median. Here's a couple example problems. It says, uh, for the following uh, problems, write the population, sample, statistic, and parameter, and give the notation that should be used for the statistic and parameter. On example one, it says a teacher wanted to find the average study time in units of minutes per week for college algebra students at Allegheny College of Maryland. So he sampled 30 college algebra students at Allegheny College in a variety of college algebra classes taught by a variety of teachers. He found the average study time of those 30 students to be 45 minutes per week with a standard deviation of 1.2 hours. Well, the population is uh, that group that he's studying. And what is he studying? He's studying um, students, uh, study time for students enrolled in college algebra. So. The population would be really college algebra students at Allegheny College, Maryland. Your sample is those 30 students that he sampled. His statistic is some information that he got from those, that sample, and he actually got uh, two bits of information. One is that he got the, that the sample mean was equal to uh, 45 minutes per week and he also found out that the sample standard deviation I'll just put SD here a second well actually the symbol for standard deviation is S sample standard deviation is S and that was 1.2 hours now one thing that you should do here is keep equal units so we don't want to say the sample mean is 45 minutes per week and this is 1.2 hours uh, per week. What we'd want to do is keep them in the same units. So since it says minutes per week, I would convert the 1.2 hours per week to how many minutes that is. Well, one hour is 60 minutes, and 0.2 of an hour is an additional 0.2 times 60 is 12 minutes. So that would be the same as 72 minutes 
per week. And the symbol for sample standard deviation is S, and the symbol for sample mean is X bar. Okay, now the parameter is something he would like to know. And we don't uh, uh, have a, a number for this. This is just something that he would like to know. And what would he like to know? The average study time for uh, college algebra students at Allegheny College of Maryland. I don't know what that average study time is, so I just have to write it in a sentence. If I did know that average study time, I would label it with, this, with the um, mu, that symbol that looks like a u. Okay? This symbol for sample mean is labeled x bar. Okay, let's go to example two here. It says a hunter wanted to find the percentage of licensed hunters that used an ATV. Uh, for hunting last year. So she sampled 50 licensed hunters and found 10 of them claimed that they used an ATV for hunting last year. The population population here is uh, licensed hunters. That would be the population. Licensed hunters. It didn't give any restricted area like l licensed hunters in Maryland or so on. So the population is licensed hunters. The sample is the 50 licensed hunters that she sampled. So the, po so the sample is 50. The statistic is that she found that 10 out of 50 of them were uh, licensed uh, hunters that used an ATV. 10 out of the 50 licensed hunters use an ATV. We would label that P hat. Okay, that's the symbol. Since it's a sample percentage, we would label it with the P hat. That's this symbol right here, P with a hat on it, P hat. Okay, and what would you uh, like to know is the parameter and what she would like to know is the percentage of licensed hunters that use an ATV for hunting. So um, right here is actually your parameter. The percentage of licensed hunters that use an ATV for hunting last year. We don't know that percentage. Our best point estimate for it is our sample percentage or p hat of 10 out of 50 or that's the same as 20%. But just because the uh, out of the 50 hunters, 10 of them used ATVs, that doesn't mean out of all hunters last year that 20% of them used ATVs. So we don't know what this actual percentage is. But if we did know it, we would label it P for population percentage. And we can see up above here in the notation that population percentage is labeled with this P or also the Greek symbol rho, but it looks like a P. Okay, And that's really all the notes for section 1-1.